Okay guys, so I've got another video for you here. Uh, behind me is an F-150. And the way we do it is not necessarily maybe the best way or the right way. It's the way that we do it and it's the way that works for us. And that's kind of what paint protection film is. It's what works for you and, and in your in, in, uh, environment. So um, I've got a piece of 60 inch. Uh, I've made it a little bit bigger than I normally do. It's about seven feet long on this. And, uh, we're not going to use any adhesion promoter except for two areas and on these F-150 hoods and I think uh, I have an F-250 here. Let me uh, close this real quick and I'll see. Yeah, same with the F-250. So this area, and I'll pull the camera in here so you can check it out. This area right here always wants to, always wants to pop. It's kind of a sharp valley. So what I usually do is I just take and put a little bit of adhesion promoter on the back of the hood there so when I go to swipe this up and get it to suck down and lock down it when I when I get up to here it stays locked down it doesn't pop back up and, and leave an air gap for me here um, and on the F-250 it's pretty much the same thing uh, a little bit different here but uh, this valley down in here wants to pop back up so on an F-250 typically I'll take and put uh, some adhesion promoter just on this leading edge on the back side. I don't put it on the top, but I put it on the back edge of the hood right along through here. And, uh, and that helps in uh, getting this to lock down and not pop back up after you've uh, done your squeegee down on it. Okay, so uh, this is my uh, edge prep. I buy it in a big can. Actually, I bought the can probably two years ago. And this is just an old small can, so I just refill this. Uh, this is a... Uh, uh, a polyester swab uh, instead of a cotton uh, and this ensures that we don't leave any little cotton fibers behind um, and uh, you can kind of reuse it if you don't uh, if you don't get it dirty or anything like that which you shouldn't be getting it dirty but or throw it on the floor when you're done with it so uh, put a little edge prep on here it absorbs absorbs pretty well and I'm just gonna edge prep the very back of this right here like so. All right guys, a little pro tip. We have these uh, kind of a water blade. Uh, so anytime we do a panel, even a bumper, Alexis does it on the bumper, we use these water blades. So you see him back here, he's uh, hosing us down, hose it down, squeegee it. Alexis is a little more thorough than I am. He probably does it three or four times before we actually put the film down. This, uh, this really does help out with the debris. Good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, first I'm going to cut the film. I want to make sure that I have enough coming up the sides here. So I'm going to take and, and take my knife and I'm just going to cut out this excess. I don't want to I don't want to cut it out too close to here, but I want to take and cut this excess out because when you start pulling this, it's kind of it's going to bind bind the film up a little bit. So take and cut that like so. Just to get it off the windshield wiper arms and the windshield. So we've got got the film laid down here. I'm gonna shoot a little more slip underneath here real quick. Get it nice and wet, nice and slippery. Uh, I actually have a water dispenser over here and I'll mix it up with warm water so this is actually warm and it makes it tack a lot, lot quicker. So first thing I do is I get the film positioned back here and I'm not tacking it on the hood, I'm tacking here. So we'll take and squeegee this down under the fender. Get that kind of locked down. The license is going to just give it a slight tug that way. Not a whole lot. So when you're doing these hoods, people want to stretch them from left to right. And yeah, it's a little, a little too much. Just make it a little less. Um, there you go, right there. Uh, it's harder to lay film down in a valley when it's stretched this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it this way. And uh, this will, what that kind of does is it pulls the film that way and kind of gathers 
stuff in so it's a little easier to lay down. Okay, so I always try to draw a diagram for people on this. Uh, so when we have this, this portion here, I tell people you want to pull this this way and kind of down, down and out like that. So what I typically do is just pull the film down and I watch it so it can kind of go like this. And I'm going to have to probably reposition it a couple of times. But when you're here, you can play with the film. So if you pull it straight out like this, then you're going to have fingers here. When you're, when you're actually grabbing the film and kind of pulling it, you can kind of see how the film is reacting. And you can see what it's doing up here, how it's going to react up here to each pull. You can kind of watch over here and see what it's doing over here. So I'm going to give this a little pull this way like so. And then I'm going to lock it down on the on the uh, grill here, like so. so. We got a decent lock there, so we'll come over to this side and we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, so now we got something nice here that'll lay. See how we can do that with our hand. It just wants to kind of suck down in there. We'll come back over here. Got that. This can be pulled up. Alexis and I are now gonna lock these down here. You wanna make sure that everything's still moving. You don't wanna have a, a point on an edge here that's locked down. But if you do and you come back to squeegee it, you'll either have a uh, an adhesive disturbance or uh, silvering done there, so just want to make sure all this is moving. And we're going to have trouble locking this down a little bit. So I'm going to take and squeeze to the front here. And I'm going to bring the center up because we have a little bit of excess film in the center. So I'm kind of pushing and stretching it up a little bit. And we'll bring that all the way up to the top. Okay, so we've got uh, this film up here like so. This is going to be the hardest part of the install is getting this down. So we're going to flush this. Uh, with plenty of, uh, of tack here. So now you see it's running all the way down into there. I'm going to take my hand and give it a, a swipe. Get it all up here and kind of hold it there for a second where I have the edge prep. I kind of have my fingers right in this corner here. And now it's, now it's locked down. And what you can do is you can take and push this down this way or you can pull this up this way. You want to make sure you get all your moisture out of here. Stretch it like that. Oh, Sam, we unlocked there. Get this, get all of our moisture out of here. Bring it up, and bring it over this way. If you want to use a more flexible squeegee, you can use one of these pink ones here, a real flexible one, and come up in here and move it up. Grab your towel, wipe it with a towel, and look at it, make sure you got all the moisture out of it. Now what's nice about getting it this far, if you've got an issue, you can come back and lift the film to this body line here and uh, get any debris out or reposition the film or whatever. And by doing it up to this body line here, you're not going to end up with a, you know, if you did it out here, you're going to end up with a pretty much a line down the center of your kit. 
but we're looking good so far here. And the same thing with this body line right here. If we run into an issue here, we can always lift the film up to this body line up here and take care of that issue, reposition the film, what have you. So now I just want to make sure that I've got the film loose, which I don't. It's a little, a little stuck right there, so I'm going to lift this here and uh, put some of my slip up there. Like so, now everything's loose again. Shoot a little slip down in here. When I get to a corner here, I don't just let it rest or sit up on top of it. I like to get a corner locked down. There's nothing worse than letting a corner sit and then you are working on the rest of it and when you go to put it down, it leaves the line where it's kind of stretched out. So a little alcohol there to lock it down. Come back and you, you want to kind of squeegee on top of your body line here. We don't leave a moisture pocket along here. We're going to get this all down now here. That's down. Before you move on, wipe it. Scan it for any debris, any imperfections. You're at the point now where you can still lift it. And get you know, something out here, you can lift it back to this point here. Uh, in some cases you may end up with a little stretch line right here, which may be acceptable, just depends on how bad it is. And I can see on the nose here, some little bit of moisture that we have left behind here. So now, I'm gonna wet this, and I'm gonna take my hand, to see, see how this is going to go. And if you see, everything kind of looks like it's just going to lay down nice and beautiful once you do that hand swipe there. So, wet that, and I'm going to take a little alcohol here, squirt a little alcohol up in here. And then do my hand swipe again. It's down. Double check it real quick before I finish locking it in. Pull you in so you can see this here. So there it is, all ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some heat on this and heat up these edges a little bit and let them sit for about 15 minutes, and uh, then we'll come back and trim it and uh, tuck this all underneath here. Uh, this is. This is the problem point here, and you really want to focus on getting that to stay locked down. Uh, a lot of times with, with these installs, and it happens here with us a lot, we'll get everything down and this will still want to pop just, just ever so slightly right here, and then it ends up leaving that, that ugly ass line. And uh, Most people don't see it, you can't see it from inside the truck, and when you're walking around you don't really notice it there, but we notice it. And uh, so this is, this is a, a problem area with popping doing these hoods. And then you saw this is probably the most difficult area to get down this, this valley here. But once you get it down and you understand it, it's pretty simple. All right guys, well, I hope this helps you out. Hopes it helps you out in future installs.